Uh, hello everyone, I'm Fadali and this video is about the elevated button. Uh, you could also call it the updated version of the race button because the race button, as I told you in the last video, is an obsolete class. So in the future, it will be removed. So you got to use the elevated button in place of the race button. Alright, so what is the difference between the elevated button and the race button? Okay, if you have seen my last, you know, two videos of the flat button, and the text button you would easily understand the difference between the race button and the elevated button as well because they have done the same thing as they just did in the flat button so the major difference between the elevated button and the race button is not about the functionality they both do the functionality in the same way all their difference comes into their ui their design how they you know uh, do their design okay so in the race button you could easily see uh, let me just show you all the properties of the functionality and the ui is directly into the race button but in the elevated button what they have just done they just have wrapped all the ui properties or the property that were related to the design of the of the button into a single class which is your button style class all right this is the major difference between the race button and the elevated button nothing more so let me just write the code of elevated button now so this is our race button uh, i just have to uh, write the elevated button all right okay now you could see that the color property and the text color property i can't use it directly so because they are not directly provided because they are all wrapped in uh, one class which is the button style class so we got to use that class so i just want to change the color of my uh, race button so we got to use the style property for it and the style property you will be writing the elevated button dot uh, style from okay so in this class you got to use the primary color you got to use the primary color for the background color start deep orange color and it will look fine but if you also want to change the color of your text so you got to use on primary let me just write the black color uh, so it will give the black color to your text and if you also want to do some elevation you can give the value to it so you will have more shadow when you increase the value of the elevation and it will have the less shadow when you decrease the value of it zero for no elevation it will look flat now just like the flat uh, just like the text button it will look flat but i want to give it a some elevation because it is an the elevated button it must have some elevation all right so this is how it works you can also change the color of elevation by writing the shadow color I want to give it a, a yellow color so you can go with the yellow color. Now you can see that we have a different yellow color now. I just hope that you learn the difference between the waist button and the elevated button. There wasn't much you know the difference but you know they just wrapped all these UI properties together into a single color. That was the major that was the difference mainly. So this is all for this video. If you really find it helpful and the useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel and bye bye.